This is Christian Cantrell with a quick review of the Samsung Galaxy S3 running CyanogenMod. I decided to pick this phone up and install CyanogenMod because I was after the ultimate Android experience. So this is the phone that I was using before. This is the Nexus 4. And this is a really good phone. Uh, I, was, I was pretty happy with it, but uh, it's not perfect. It's got uh, a few shortcomings, which I'm not going to get into in this video but I decided to experiment with the Galaxy S3 because it has such a great reputation. The problem is that uh, I don't really like all of the changes that uh, manufacturers and the carriers make to Android. I really wanted a plain vanilla experience, so I installed CyanogenMod, and the result is what I believe the, uh, the best Android experience that there is. I'm very, very happy with it. So the experience is very fast and fluid. The phone's very quick. Uh, I have no complaints at all about the performance of the phone. Um, you can see that the, the transitions are really beautiful. The phone is just very, very fast. Uh, I also like the fact that it has a removable battery, unlike the N4 and unlike the, uh, the iPhone. I really don't like this trend toward integrated batteries. I know that the theory is that you can get a thinner uh, and therefore perhaps somewhat lighter phone by integrating the battery and a phone that just feels more structurally sound. I think that this phone uh, defies uh, what, what has become conventional wisdom. This phone is very thin and sleek. It's very lightweight and the battery is not integrated. This back comes off relatively easily and you can replace the battery, which is really nice. The battery life is, by the way, quite good on this phone. It's uh, better than the N4. I would say it's somewhere between the Nexus 4 and the iPhone 5. Uh, you can also replace the micro SD card in the device. I have a 64 gigabyte micro SD card, which is really nice. So I have plenty of capacity. Something else I really like about this phone is that it has a really good sound, uh, much better sound than any other Android device I've ever owned, and I've owned a lot. Uh, and it also comes with these headphones, which are pretty nice. So um, they're sort of sound isolating headphones. And most importantly, they have uh, controls built in for play, pause, and for volume. This is something that uh, I think should be standard on every single phone you buy. I think it should come with a nice pair of headphones with built-in controls, and they should work exactly uh, as expected. Oddly enough, uh, it's actually not that common on Android devices. I've not found an Android device where I've been able to get these headphones or these types of headphones to work reliably, but on the, uh, the Galaxy S3 they do. Uh, so I also have CyanogenMod installed, as I mentioned, because I wanted to get sort of the plain vanilla Android experience. Uh, it's worked out really well. I've been very happy with it. Uh, I've installed it before on other devices, and uh, it's always come through for me. It also has a couple of additions that I really like. So for instance, if you look up here at the, uh, the battery indicator, let's give it a minute to focus here. Um, there we go. You can see that I have it configured to be a circle with the percentage of battery life in the center, which is kind of nice. And over here, if you look at my notifications, you can see that there's an unread count in the notification icon, which is kind of slick. So really good device, definitely the best Android experience I've ever had. Very, very happy with it. Now, there are a couple of disadvantages. Uh, one is that it is only HSPA+, plus. it is not LTE. This is one thing that the uh, iPhone does not get enough recognition for. The iPhone has excellent battery life. It's a very thin and light phone, the iPhone 5, I should, I should uh, clarify. And it also has LTE. Uh, I really like the iPhone 5 as well. In fact, that's what I'm using to film this video. But for my Android experience, the, uh, the Galaxy S3 is definitely the phone for me. Uh, it also has hardware buttons. Uh, so we have this home button here. If you hold home button down, then we'll get a uh, the, the uh, application switcher will come up here. Um, I actually prefer the virtual buttons of the uh, Nexus 4. Let me unlock this off camera. And you can see that uh, this has these nice virtual buttons which rotate along with the orientation, which I think is kind of nice. So I sort of prefer the, uh, the virtual buttons to the hardware buttons, but, but they're fine. Um, maybe in the next version of the Galaxy. The other thing that I feel like I should mention here is that there's a significant price difference between these two phones. So I picked up the Galaxy S3 because I was looking for something a little nicer than the N4, uh, something with some battery, battery, better battery life and something that, uh, that worked better in a couple of, uh, couple of key ways. 
Uh, and, and I did get that with the Galaxy S3. I'm very, very happy with this phone, but it's important to note the difference in price. The Galaxy S3 is $579.95 on Amazon unlocked. Uh, that is without a contract. That's again, the international version. Uh, that's sort of expensive. Um, I don't really mind paying that kind of money for a really nice phone, but uh, that's going to be a little steep for a lot of people and uh, they're going to be looking for a cheaper option. That's where the N4 is actually a really interesting phone. This phone is only $349 directly from Google. Uh, and again, that's with no contract. Um, and so for $349, it's a really nice phone. You might say that it's actually a better value because you're not, it's not quite as nice as the Galaxy, but you're paying less money for it. If you really want top of the line though, I would definitely recommend getting the Galaxy S3. Get rid of the, uh, the operating system that, uh, that Samsung bundles with it. Install something like Cyanogen Mod if you don't mind voiding your warranty and uh, doing a little bit of extra work. And you're going to get the best Android experience that there is out there. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching.